Hey everyone, it is cruise day. John here from Bite Size Cruises. It is bright and early in the morning. I haven't even had coffee yet. I just combed my hair. I have to change, I have to get in my cruise shirt for today, but I was so excited, wanted to get this out of the way. It is October 15th. We are going on NCL Escape today. I am meeting AJ from our team here. She should be here shortly. She's gonna get here at about 6 a.m. Then we got to get on uh, drive to Hamilton, New Jersey. We're going to do a fun little video about that. Then we are going to get on New Jersey Transit and go to New York. Then we're going to walk to the cruise port. We're checking in around 10 a.m. And then we're getting on NTL Escape whenever the heck they let us on the ship. So we're super excited. Meg is going to meet us at the terminal. Yesterday was Meg's wedding anniversary. One year. Everybody say happy anniversary to Meg next time you see her, whenever that is. And... Uh, we are going to get on NCL Escape. Super excited. This is the first time that AJ and Meg are repeating a ship. So uh, we went on NCL Escape in December of 2021 with all of our families. And we are going back on there. We're super excited. So come join us for Cruise Day. Next time you see me, I'm going to have my Cruise Day NCL Escape shirt on. And I'll be with AJ. Be heading to Hamilton. Let's go. Getting on the ship, it's going to be crazy. So we have lots of stories for today as I am getting on by myself and that was not the plan, but we'll catch you up as we go through it. Fun story time. Let's go. wonderful four and a half hour adventure getting my bag back. Here I am, finally getting on the ship to join the others. All right, so once we all were wonderfully on the ship, we decided to go grab a little bit of lunch at Ocean's. Uh, Ocean's is complimentary, so uh, you can eat there whenever you would like. It's open pretty much 24 hours a day. This is the studio lounge on board the ship. This is where solo travelers can meet. As you see Meg over there chatting it up with some new friends here on NCL Escape. Uh, it's Australian. It's like kangaroo. a kangaroo. Like Wallaby. a kangaroo. Yep. Yeah. Uh, do you like to eat color. it? Tuna. Uh, tuna's tuna's yes. not a color. Yep. Around one o'clock, the rooms were ready, so we wandered down. We were all staying in this studio. Uh, in the studio suites. So we all have pretty much the same room. As you can see, I was in 11523. Went in, the rooms are small, but they are perfect if you are sailing solo. 
And then we got our ducks ready to hide and uh, put our little contest on it that no one participated in. I'm not bitter at all. Hey everyone, it has been a little bit of a crazy day already. Uh, we had a pretty eventful morning. So AJ got to my place around six in the morning. We took NJ Transit from Hamilton, which was great. We, uh, we got off the train in New York Penn Station. We walked up to Madison Square Garden. We walked outside and AJ said, I forgot my purse on the train. Um, and I said, all right, let's figure out, you know, what, uh, what was in your purse, what we need to do. And she said, my passport was in there. I was like, oh my God. So we ran down and, uh, the train had already gone. We went to lost and found, we went to customer service. Luckily, AJ was using air tags. We'll do, we'll talk about that later. What a great, uh, thing that was. So she was able to let them know they were able to call. We found out that the um, train was coming back this way in like three hours. So they had to try to get a hold of somebody on the train, try to figure out if they could find her purse. So long story long, they found the purse, the conductor grabbed it. By the time they got back to New York, it was after 12 o'clock, AJ got on the ship at two and it is five now and we're getting ready to go uh, hide some ducks. So it's going to be a fun day. We got through this. Meg is here. She got here okay. I'm here. AJ's here. Let's go enjoy the night. Come with me. One of the best parts about embarking your cruise in New York or New Jersey, depending on where you're at, is you're going to get to go through Manhattan. We're going to kind of sail past Manhattan here. We're going to sail past the Statue of Liberty. Uh, you'll also go under the Verrazano Bridge. We didn't do a video of that this time because I feel like we do that every single cruise and it gets a little bit old. But we did uh, try to grab some footage here of downtown Manhattan. And as you can see, it kind of looks fake. It looks like a fake background back there. It's pretty spectacular. But uh, you can see very crowded for sail away as per normal. There's not a ton of like outside space here up on the upper decks there is the eighth floor of the waterfront as well but sail away out of new york is just beautiful no matter what time of the year it is uh, here it's a little bit chilly going out of new york in october but you just throw a little sweater sweatshirt or a hoodie on and you're good to go still had a little bit of a sail away party the pool deck area is very very small as you can see uh, it's a very small area but it worked and uh, especially for a cruise that was going up north we didn't have to worry about it. Then we headed over to the arcade for a little bit since we had a little bit of time before our dinner and any of the shows that were going to go on. As you can see here, AJ and Meg are playing a little air hockey. This one's actually hilarious because you play normal air hockey for like a minute. And then as you're going to see, um, coming up here after this one, a million of the little pucks just fall out, which is really, really fun. Uh, so we hung out up in the arcade. Uh, all of these games here, you do have to pay for unless you have an arcade pass, uh, but they range anywhere from like a dollar to $5. Pool is like $5. Sarah hockey is like 250. Basketball is like two something, but all of them are really fun. And we had a great time up here throughout the cruise. We were up here. I probably spent about 20 or 30 bucks up here. Not nothing crazy. Uh, AJ did a little, uh, Mario Kart, Meg and I played a little basketball here, trying to break the high score, which we came nowhere close to. But uh, really, really good time up here. Uh, we had a really, really fun day. We then scooped down here before dinner to do the art. Uh, this is like a little scavenger hunt. Uh, so there's things in all the paintings. You got to figure out what they are. So that's always a lot of fun. And then after this, we finished up. We scored a perfect score, a 20 out of 20, which is great. And we got free pieces of art, which, you know, it's just little pictures, but it's very nice that you get something. And then we do our sail away favorite, teppanyaki, every first night of the cruise. When we go as a team, we do teppanyaki. You can see the menu here, and then we'll get into the little show. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 
are here we made it somehow we got through we're this all here bananas of a day uh we <laughs> did get to meet two really nice people today we met sean uh that talked to us out on the deck and then we met another nice gentleman who just briefly saw us uh by the art gallery so hopefully we'll run into those guys again and we also uh, met larry and Lori and midge, midge. midge. Yeah, met a bunch of people today. So we had a great day. Uh, it was a little bit of a rocky day, as we discussed earlier. So it was an adventure, but we got through it. As you'll see, we went to Teppanyaki tonight. We had a great time, as usual. Always fun. Our shirts were a big hit today. Everybody loved our shirts. We're going to start it so you can customize it and order your own for your cruise. There you go. So you'll be able to get them for your cruise. And if you join our shirt club next year... You'll get a new shirt every quarter or every month if you want. So thanks everybody for watching today. Hope everybody had a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us on day one. And uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow in Newport, Rhode Island. Yay!